In this problem, we're going to integrate 4 times the arc cosine of x. Solution. To do this, we're going to use what's called the integration by parts formula. The integration by parts formula says if you have the integral of u dv, that's equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So in this case, we have to pick our u and we have to pick our dv. So whatever u is, we have to be able to differentiate it. So in this case, um, we're going to pick u to be this piece here. So 4 arc cosine of x. Okay, And then whatever we pick for dv, we have to be able to integrate it. So dv will be what's left over. dv is dx. I didn't pick dv to be arc cosine because then I have to integrate arc cosine, and that's kind of what the whole problem is about. So now we compute du, that's the derivative of u, so the 4 hangs out. The derivative of arc cosine is negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. It's just like the derivative of arc sine except it has a negative sign, that's the only difference. And then here there's a 1, and so when we integrate 1 we get x. Okay, so now we're going to use the formula. So this is equal to let's see, uv, so that would be 4x arc cosine x minus the integral of v du. Now there's already a minus here, so it's going to be plus, I'm going to pull the 4 out, and then we'll have x over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, so now we have to deal with this creature here. So this, uh, I guess we can do this with a u substitution. So uh, we'll make a substitution for this piece here. We'll call that w. So we'll let w equal 1 minus x squared. Then dw, that's going to be negative 2x dx. And then just dividing both sides by negative 2 to make it match, because there's no negative 2 here, we get negative 1 half dw equals x dx. Okay, so x dx is right here. Okay, that's x dx. That's this down here in the bottom right. So that's negative one half dot dw. So rewriting everything we have, it's coming down here, we have equals 4x arc cosine x. And then the x dx, that's going to be negative one half dw. But we already have a 4 outside, so 4 over negative 2 is negative 2. And here we have dw over the square root of w. Good stuff. Let's keep going. I'm going to come uh, over here. So we have 4x arc cosine x minus 2. And this is w to the 1 half. And so when you bring it upstairs, it becomes w to the negative 1 half dw. So this is 4x arc cosine x minus 2. Now we use the power rule, so we'll add 1 to this. So negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half, right? Because it's negative 1 half plus 2 halves, which is 1 half. So it's w to the 1 half over 1 half. And then plus our c. Almost done. So we end up with 4x arc cosine x. And then 1 half times 2 is 4, so minus 4, square root, square root, and w was 1 minus x squared, so 1 minus x squared. Then we have our plus c. Kind of rushed the video, but a little bit longer problem. I hope that made sense.